the co-founder of the Gutai movement. Gutai is founded on the idea that um, people wanted to paint or create art in a different way. Shimamoto, in this case, was actually uh, creating the artwork by throwing vessels, glass bottles, or even you know cups, onto the canvas that was laid out on the floor. He pre-organized the bottles or the colors per painting, but the order of it in how it would be thrown onto the canvas was random. He started in the 50s with this creation, this bottle craft. He repeated that, revisited that subject matter in the 90s. So what you see here is that latter part of his career. It's always been about the performance for him. He has the power of his own. He is certainly someone that could be compared to Jackson Pollock, but I think that Jackson Pollock was more about gestures of masculinity and gestures of leadership, which, you know, was, America was about that in the 50s, the 40s, you know, is the power, the energy, the leadership that came from it. I think with Shimamoto, it was more about, you know, sort of violent acts. Um, that he did as a reaction to the war. There's another maybe similarity would be that, you know, they both had a certain ritual as to how they made the paintings. With Shimamoto, there's maybe one step less of control because, you know, once the vessel, the glass bottle, left his hand, you know, it was out of his hands. He had no more control. The main idea for him was always to, to travel, to get people interested in his work, and then to be able to create it in places that he loved. This beautiful work where you feel the energy of a lot of blue, uh, a lot of energy, glass fragments, is really energetic. You can really feel the violence, the energy that, you know, came from him throwing the vessels, the bottle, onto the canvas.